All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome to a game here. So in versus Law Lie at taking place here on, well, Pro Iron version of Turtle Rock. On the bottom, well, what I'll call the four o'clock position, we have Law Lie at spawning as the Yellow Night Elf. Meanwhile, not cross, just on the other side of that shop, we have Sowin spawning as the blue orc. Orc versus Night Elf 1v1 on Turtle Rock, a map pretty much custom made for the Blade Master. I am expecting Blade Master here because of the number of of this, these ogre warrior creep camps off on the wings of the map that do drop very good items. And with that said, though, I will say that Circlet of Nobility is no longer dropped um, and only purchasable from the Goblet Merchant Shop. And we'll see how many, well, how many Circlet of Nobilities that the Blade Master picks up early on. We are opening things up here. It looks as though the Blade Master will be trained up here in just a second. Meanwhile, it will be a Keeper of the Grove. So Keeper of the Grove going up against a Blade Master. Uh, it would have been mud on my face if he actually went farcier as this game gets underway here. Now, we all know that easy turtle, sea turtle, um, creep camp out in front, that Ancient of War able to absorb some of that damage. And the sea turtle hatchings all here and this giant sea turtle all have medium armor, meaning that the Keeper of the Grove's treants, the Ancient of War, all deal bonus damage, able to clear that creep out easily. Meanwhile, off on the other side of the map, Voodoo Lounge. Voodoo Lounge going to go ahead and get uh, finished off here in just a moment. And, well, we should be looking at that Blade Master selling the Scroll of Town Portal, picking up perhaps double healing salves and a Scroll of Speed. Are we going to see a quick tech to Tier 2? That is the, my next spot here by Sowin. That quick tech to Tier 2 to perhaps try to get some of those raiders out early on. Just need a little bit more lumber and a little bit more gold as the Blade Master goes straight after this giant sea turtle now. Not selling anything as of yet. Not picking up anything as of yet. Need, needs more gold as the Wisp does do a little bit of scouting here. All right. One taking down Mantle of Intelligence. Going to get finished off. A little bit more kills. Tech to Tier 2 has already begun. That was, I believe, at the 2 minute 30 second mark. And Lalayet will be a little bit behind in this race. Meanwhile, Keeper of the Grove picks up a circlet of nobility from the Goblin Merchant Shop. And I don't know if that is a strategy to just try and deny the circlet from that Blade Master. The circlet of nobility, not normally an item the Keeper of the Grove would go out of his way for. But now that the circlet of nobility doesn't drop normally, perhaps this is one of the ways that, um, well, the Blade Master can get stronger early on we are looking at ring of protection plus a three here gonna finish off that sea turtle hatchlings and then perhaps use some of that healing salve as the grunt is the one absorbing a bit of that damage blade master does get to level two keeper of or tree and now clearing out this other sea turtle hatching creep camp as the keeper of the grove does also get to level two as well Blade Master heads back off to the side. He picks up a circuit of nobility, dust of appearance, and well, try and taking down that archer. Archer, well, he stuttered step just a little bit, but still had to apply that dust of appearance as the Blade Master does get that kill. All right, in comes a Treant. Treant gonna give, uh, well, stop the healing on that Blade Master a little bit, and finally get taken down. A 68 point critical strike. We're in this middle portion or the, well, moving in the middle portion of this game now as both sides are teching the tier two. N no one's really trying to get um, too much pressure or harassment going here as Treants. What is this? Oh, oh, what is this? All right, this is absolutely hilarious. Ancient protector being built off on the side here, gonna be protected and and surrounded by trees. War mill is being placed down, so a, a demolisher could get added in here. As the orc burrows currently don't have any peons, uh, well, engaging or fighting. Treant's gonna go ahead and try and finish this off here. That additional mana from that mantle of intelligence actually making a big difference overall. As these treants are gonna come to an end cheese at a, at a high level tournament um, that is not something I, I expected 
at all here as the Keeper of the Grove gonna try and engage. All right, Orc Burrows gonna uh, well, try and fire back here. Altar of Storms, uh, well, absorbing quite a bit of damage as well as more Treants are coming back off here. Blade Master sitting at level two, will get to level three off of this creep camp. Needs to use up a little bit more as well as we see some more strikes. I don't think that Sowin is expecting this level of cheese play as now the Ancient Protector is completed. That Ancient Protector dealing a far, far more damage than suspected as this guy could actually try to eat his way out of this tree line here. Um, and well, once he's eaten his way out of the tree line, can walk simply into the base of Sowin. This is a big, big deal in indeed as the Demolisher now trying to get trained up here. Treants are all here ready to go. Ancient Protector going to go ahead and re root itself here in just a moment as we are looking at, well, well reinforced defenses trying to get completed. Blade Master now going after the Keeper of the Grove here. More Treants or more uh, Huntresses joining in on the fight as the Ancient Protector is completed now. All right, there's some massive repairs in indeed. Are we going to see that Demolisher take a little bit of damage? Now, as the demolisher tries to well get away, Blade Master finding a little bit of um, finding a little bit of target practice here. As we are going into a spirit lodge and rebuilding this altar of storms. All right, a little bit of well damage going back and forth here. Keeper of the Grove, perhaps trying to finish things off. Going to go ahead and uproot, but once it's uprooted, the Blade Master can deal full damage as it no longer has fortified armor. And well, a bit of deny right there. All right, Grunt trying to make its way over. Gonna get taken down. Keeper of the Grove now looking to back away again. No staff of preservation. Um, as we are looking at Tree of Ages now turning to Tree of Eternity. Uh, or Orc Seller PHP. Great. All right. Yep. Coming back through. Keeper of the Grove looking to retreat back. Huntress is also looking to fall back again. And Keeper of the Grove going to be able to get in some easy slices once more. We are looking at level 2 wind walk strikes. That bonus damage on that Keeper of the Grove starting to tick away as the Blade Master well, able to catch up and perhaps get a strike or two more off. Blade Master has to be very careful though. Doesn't want to um, doesn't want to overcommit into a tough spot, but does spot that there are druids of the Talon as a follow-up strategy by La Liette. All right, Grunt's making their way out. Shadow Hunter making a very late appearance, even though we did have a very fast tech to tier two. That Altar of Storms being forced to be rebuilt, really a, a telling sign there. Meanwhile, Blade Master joining in on the fight, trying to do a bit of harassment here in and now as the Blade Master gets mana burned for all of his efforts. All right, Blade Master still, well, Wind Walk hiding amongst all of these units. Again, perhaps going to try and steal a bit of experience. There goes one Ogre Warrior. Another Ogre Warrior going to get taken down. Force Troll taken down as well as the Blade Master doesn't want to appear as completely surrounded by breaking Wind Walk in, amongst all of these Night Elf units. Hey, 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 QC, how are you doing? All right, Ancient of War absorbing a little bit of damage there. Gargantuan Sea Turtle Demon Hunter looking to get to level two. Meanwhile, Shadow Hunter out here onto the battlefield going for the Serpent Ward strategy. All right, so Serpent Ward strategy should be able to clear out of these four stroll berserkers, ogre warriors pretty fast. There's some healing salve going around a devotion aura as well. We're looking at a 10 or plus 10 armor blade master. 48% damage reduction and then we'll add in some healing salve support by that shadow hunter and suddenly that blade master um 750 hit points well we, with half reduced damage but still taking full heals a very big deal yo long timer crota long timer or it's been a long time not quite sure what you mean by that but thank you hank master all right anyways blade master coming back around here gonna well, go after the Gargantuan Sea Turtle, finish things off, get a nice, powerful, consumable um, item as well. And with that, well, move along his merry way. It will be a potion of invulnerability, so a, a very strong, very, very strong consumable there as the Blade Master will be able to dive in um, a bit further. Serpent Wards causing a bit of poking, and these are only the level 1 variety still. We know that level 2 and especially that level 3 Serpent Ward, how effective it is against the unarmored units such as these Druids of the Talon and these Huntresses. All right. 
Well, if it's been a long time, I haven't really gone anywhere. Pretty much been doing the same thing, um, same routine for the past couple of years. So, um, and you must have been the one that walked away. Coming back through, Keeper of the Grove now making his way over to the Ogre Magi shop. Demon Hunter looks to get to level 3. There's a quick reveal trying to figure out what is going on as the Watchtowers here are going to be completely fortified and well defended. Still no Voodoo Lounge though, and that's one of the things that, well, I would normally expect an uh, orc outpost to have that Voodoo Lounge as the Blade Master and Shadow Hunter are often very, um, well, Consume item consumable item dependent. That's one of the reasons why defending an orc at his own base is so difficult. That voodoo lounge just supplying mana and and hit points to those heroes to keep the fight going just a little bit longer, giving a little bit of a favorable advantage. Tome of Agility, Hood of Cunning, Demon Hunter now with plus 16 damage between this. This is Claws of Attack plus 8 and now going after the four Troll Berserkers and down here. Drew the Talon going to get finished off. Keeper of the Grove now making its way off to the north as well. Looking at Thorn's Aura as that uh, second or as that third ability. All right, so Lalayette going for Thorn's Aura. Not quite sure what to make of that. There are Raiders and Grunts, but, um, well, Shadow Hunter with level 2 Serpent Wards could cause quite a bit of problems. Meanwhile, it looks as though the Keeper of the Grove wants to go after another Gargantuan Sea Turtle Creep Camp and clear things up. All right, Demon Hunter does have level 2 Mana Burn, so should be diving in onto that Shadow Hunter as well. Meanwhile, bl where is the Blade Master? Blade Master is, well, was at the shop and now going to try and clear out this red creep camp here. Turtle Rock, plenty of places to creep as we are looking at Solin currently behind and needs to catch up in the experience race. The Demon Hunter of Lalayet um, nearly at level 4 as the Blade Master and um, well, we'll get to level 4 right here. Tome of Knowledge, Hood of Cunning. Are they going to actually accidentally be left behind and entangle a beautiful entangle on the Shadow Hunter forcing um, well, uh, so in to leave behind the items as no one else could pick them up. That tome, that hood of cunning. Now that demon hunter with plus 21 damage and so much intelligence that he, well, could even get um, immolation and not really worry about it. A f nearly 500 mana demon hunter, but each of those hoods of cunning also giving an additional plus five add um, uh, attack damage as well in addition to all of that armor so that demon hunter very fast attack speed with plus 13 agility and that gloves of haste all right blade master shadow hunter has some work more work to do meanwhile demon hunter gonna clear up to this gargantuan sea turtle creep camp keeper of the grove gonna find a one of mana stealing not the item he was looking for as well the demon hunter can already keep mana at, at bay or in check um, by himself at with level two mana burn all right, coming back across here, Troll Bat Riders are joining in on the fight. We are at Stronghold, and we do see the Orc running up on two bases. This is going to be a big deal as Druids of the Talon quickly come up and now try and surround the Shadow Hunter. Going to be able to surround the Shadow Hunter. Scroll of Town Portal quickly being used there. We're looking at a couple of, well, Lightning Shields being placed down onto the Druids of the Talon as a couple of ensnares went down as well. All right, so apparently. A lightning shield, once it is applied onto a druid of, or once the druid of the town goes into that crow form, actually removes that lightning shield and is able to stop that damage from sticking around. Thank you for the sub. Every every little, well, every little sub, every little follow, all of that does definitely help the channel. As I don't, know, I don't even know why I say it definitely helps the channel. It it just it helps me, right? Like gives me a reason to continue to do this thing that I love. But then again, without an audience, there's no real reason to do it. So thanks for your support. Coming back around, Demon Hunter going straight after this Force Troll Warlord Creep Camp. Fairy Fire quickly making short work of their Ring of the Arch Magi, giving level, um, giving plus three to every single stat. And that is quickly handed off to the Demon Hunter, who now has plus 24 damage and over 500 mana. 
All right, 540 mana. That is that just seems absolutely ridiculous as the last gargantuan sea turtle creep camp about to be cleared. This is only a level four demon hunter here, and yeah, he's not gonna have any problems with um, mana at all, being able to burn everything. Scroll of Town Portal inbound as the raiders are trying to take this down. Raiders with that siege damage. Are we gonna see just base race trade here as Kitty or excuse me, La Layette quickly loses as the raiders um, were able to well just pillage down that tree of life chimera is joining in on the fight as well but that base trade and um, scenario just really working in favor serpent wards continuing to poke as the well druids of the talon did bring up a bunch of cyclones to try and shut down some of these or um, some of these raiders scroll of town portal does retreat back out as a serpent ward still going to get in some poking damage here all right, a new watchtower, a new expo being set up by Soen, and we may be going into a full, full moon style game, as so to speak, as La Layette sets up another secret base. All right, a lot of trees of life, a lot of gold mines on this map, plenty of places to expo, and it almost feels like, well, um, well, mine, I'm not sure, quite sure why that demolisher was shut down right there. Um, could have uh, backed around the other way. Well, just trying to clear a path through um, through that back position so, so for faster movement between the bases. Um, perhaps even taking down some of these trees here as well would um, well shorten the dist walking distances between these bases. Blade Master, well, slicing and dicing his way through a handful of wisps as this entangled gold mine is completed. We're going to reach full saturation here by La Layette. And once more, Bases are just being established up pretty much everywhere. Been watching your shoutcast for more than 10 years, wanting to show a little appreciation for still doing what you do. Well, I appreciate it. Coming back around. Coming back around, Raiders, 1-1 one, one upgrades, Ancient of War trying to beat them away as we see the Watchtowers, um, well, going to get destroyed before um, this expansion even fully gets set up. All right, ends justify the means, Troll Bat Riders finding a Chimera pretty quickly. Both sides still fighting their way through as the Watchtowers are doing a little bit of poking. Cyclone trying to remove some of these Raiders from the fight as the Chimera does get ensnared down here. Troll Bat Riders continuing to make their way across could take down some of those Chimeras again. And we are looking at still at level 5 heroes for the Night Elf. Level 4 and a level 3 for the Orc. Not really quite working out well here as the Keeper of the Grove could end up getting taken down. Scroll of Town Portal for a quick, quick escape again. And all of these units will end up getting whisked away way. La Layette being forced to use that Squirrel of Town portal and that opens up exposure to this tree of life right here. Uh, yes, we are looking at pillage. There's another Squirrel of Town portal inbound. Are we going to perhaps see a healing wave? Are we going to see some repairs? This expo could end up getting taken down. Level 4 now on the Shadow Hunter as the tree of life gets taken down here. Demon Hunter while trying to well, finish off some of these raiders. Two raiders will end up getting taken down. A third raider gets taken down as he rejoins in on the fight needlessly. And well, the law Losses for Sowin actually piling up rather high as this raider may not be able to escape out either as the Keeper of the Grove should be able to get off an entangle here. All right, no entangle? Nope, there's the entangle. Yeah, so four raiders um, end up getting taken down here. So right now, what Sowin is doing, Sowin is, has been able to shut down these expos, this tree of life here, or this tree of life here, but it is still costing things um, um, costing things and what that is what it is costing is units that give experience and now we are looking at the keeper of the grove and the demon hunter getting that much closer to level six 54 supply compared to 49 a tough spot to be in keeper of the grove now trying to dive on in blade master getting entangled and well thereby getting neutralized as he is unable to get in any auto attacks demon hunter could have a little bit of a bad day he is currently ensnared and well nowhere to go go as the chimera show more chimeras show up to the party demon hunter could have attacked back while ensnared at least do a little bit of damage as we are now looking at an orb of venom to round out the auto attack damage on this demon hunter all right a thousand hit points nearly 12 armor um hoods of cunning ring of arch magi 
powerful items, a beautiful consumable item as well to keep him alive as we're looking at, well, so in a, trying to set up an expo off here to the north. All right. Ensnares detonations going around. A new base once again by Lalayette doing his best to imitate Moon by setting up secret bases all around the map, but they are currently just getting scouted out. And we are now back down to three bases or three bases to three here as well. Everyone is be, well, just trying to stay in their respective corners. 37 supply army compared to 45 gold has been plentiful and we could be looking at multiple level six heroes as this game unravels and unfolds. Main gold mines uh, nearly out of gold as well. I thought I heard a healing ward. No, that's just a serpent ward. Um, just a serpent ward being placed down there as the serpent ward. Well, as the shadow hunter does want to get to level five. I'm going to be going into an engagement here. Well, it doesn't want to sacrifice any of those raiders. The chimeras could just one shot blast or two, sh I believe two or three shot blast down in a single tree and, and gain a little bit of experience. Um, every bit of experience does definitely help, especially with two powerful ultimate abilities um, coming um, inbound. The tranquility and that, wait, what am I talking about? Chimeras obviously wouldn't take down those treants as we're looking at a little bit of a battle here. All right, damage getting racked up. Treants going to get taken down. Well, for a second, I thought the treants were part of the orc army, hence my confusion. My apologies. All right, triple chimeras with O2 armor to try and protect against those troll bat riders. Raiders found a building that they would like to pillage and are quickly going to try and take it down. Repairs are going to be underway as chimeras are coming in from behind, plus a mana burn. Repairs still here as Lalaet may end up losing this scroll of town portal being used. Repairs underway as the raiders, although some of them were up in the air, did not. Um, well, we're still able to get the job done and finish off that building. A new tree of life going to be placed down once more. And it is now two bases by the orc army compared to one right now, I believe. Yes, Lali at holding on to that front expansion. And that is it. All right. As this expo gets finished here, um, well, we're looking at one base mining with one on the way with one base mining with one nearly on the way as well. These watchtowers are getting shut down here as we do have the that very long range siege damage by those chimeras. Those chimeras able to easily take down watchtowers, flying siege units, essentially a, um, being able to take down these buildings. A couple of ensnares could be used as well as the Ancient of War trying to test the waters by moving forward and absorbing a bit of that damage. All right, off to the north here, Tree of Eternity, gonna try and take this two o'clock expo location, but the Staff of Preservations are not, well, nope, I can't even say Staff of Preservations as Night Elf doesn't have any Staff of Preservations, trying to give a little bit of chase, um, well, to, towards this expo. Meanwhile, back towards the main base here, uh, this may be a big misstep by um, La Layette. No real reason to go after this stronghold as no real mining is being done there at all. La Layette going to lose another mining base here. And with this, losing this mining base, we'll have to rely on the um, newly established base by the Tree of Eternity and this base that still needs to get entangled. All right, this seems like a game of just, well, a gold rush trying to figure out where you can get gold from your opponent 55 supply compared to 48 as the druids of the talon lift up drop back down to try and well get into a proper position keeper of the grove down to 300 hit points down to 370 potion of greater healing now transferred back over gonna try and take down a handful more units are we gonna see another raider get taken down well raider gets taken down level six on the keeper of the grove creek brother grove tries to use tranquility gets quickly entangled and the level six keeper of the grove 
falls. Blade Master gets to level 6 with that Keeper of the Grove going down as the Shadow Hunter now down to 133 hit points. He needs to back away. There's not enough experience. Demon Hunter down to Blade Master down to, uh, well, 2 hit points. A Mana Burn would finish it off. And yes, a 20 point Mana Burn finishes off a Blade Master. All right. Blade Master, however, quickly resurrected, ready to uh, re-engage once more. Demon Hunter going to exchange some blows. This is still a dangerous proposition for that Demon Hunter as damage over time still sticks. Demon Hunter sitting at level 6 does have Metamorphosis. Did not engage it, though, as the units are, well, as trying to keep track of all of these gold mines. All right. La Layette. Getting a gold mine in the center six o'clock location H has a fully no does not have a fully saturated gold mine here. Three out of five at the five o'clock location, fully saturated gold mine uh, here at the two o'clock location with a new tree of life being established at the seven o'clock location. Meanwhile, so in fully saturated at the center nine o'clock location and at the starting location at the 10 o'clock spot. So I believe it is currently five wisps here, five wisps here now, five wisps here. Uh, so 15 wisps versus 10 peons, both of them currently in no upkeep. This has been a strange game overall as the Raiders, well, do act as a source of gold. As you remember, Pillage giving gold to Sowin's units here as they're going to turn back around. Demon Hunter, well, going to slice and dice his way through, perhaps going to go into Metamorphosis, but well, just trying to get in and out of these situations. There goes that Tree of Life again as the Chimeros are trying to take down some of these targets, however, get ensnared. Keeper of the Grove back out onto the battlefield here could go after a couple of entangles. There goes one raider as more druids of the talon, more damage acting back up again. Are we going to see some more? No, there's a tranquility instead trying to keep the druids of the talon alive. And there is a quick ensnare once more. Druids of the talon going to get poked apart by the serpent wards. 48 to 52 damage, three of them just poking unit after unit and racking up a little bit more damage slowly but surely. Shadow Hunter sitting at level five here and now. Finally going to get cleaned up. All right, three level six heroes. And the follow-up question here is, are we going to be looking at Big Bad Voodoo? De probably not, as the Keeper of the Groves in Tangle will really shut down any real, uh, any real threat of Big Bad Voodoo. Coming back across here, where what is going down? Demon Hunter, Keeper of the Grove, level six, level six, Blade, Blade Master, level six, Shadow Hunter, level five, wants to try and defend this expo here. Meanwhile, Treants, um, well, able to stop a watchtower from being constructed by the peons here as we're looking at the, well, uh, this watchtower trying to poke apart this Ancient of War off on the top right. A lot of interaction going on pretty much everywhere. Um, all at once. So when sitting at 59 supply compared to Lali Etz, um, well, 46, but there's 20 or 17 workers compared to 16. All right, Cyclone pickling up that Blade Master, or Keeper of the Grove, being forced to use that Scroll of Town portal quickly. Demon Hunter, really, I haven't seen him engage with that Metamorphosis as of yet. Down to the south, Raiders are going to find a pretty easy tree of life to try and take down again. And with all of this pillage, just getting quite a, well, I thought there was pillage. No, there is actually n not pillage. All right, so the, the odd the odd gold mining was all because there's been three or four of uh, three to four bases at times. So pillage doesn't look like it was actually being uh, being mined or being used at all, even though we are looking at a very heavy raider strategy. All right, where are these raiders off to next? I, I mean, pillage would have made paid for its paid for the research cost at least by now, and perhaps some of the scroll of town portals that have been used to get out quickly. Demon hunter quickly getting ensnared there. Druids of the town continuing to poke back the other way. 
trying to shut down Raiders, but hasn't really been able to do that much as a Goblin Tinker coming out as the third and final hero by Law Lyette. All right, late third and final hero, Goblin Tinker. We are looking at Tranquility, quick and snare there. Both sides finding their way through. Jews of the Talon starting to fall. Goblin Tinker looks like it could be an easy, easy target to take down as Tree Ants are trying to open the path to try and escape back out. All right, looks like he will be able to escape. Keeper of the Grove could still little, be in a little bit of trouble as the Keeper of the Grove is trying to go after a couple of Raiders as well. Well, Keeper of the Grove, while well, trying to go after some of those units, Spirit Walkers now making their way rounds out. Perhaps gonna, they're going to get taken out as the Goblin Tinker able to retreat all the way back here. Raiders trying to find some targets. 50 supply compared to 61. Keeper of the Grove going to go ahead and use the Scroll of Town Portal as the Goblin Tinker, about to fall, escapes away at 40 hit points. All right. Quick, quick destruction there. Chimera... Chimera's Druids of the Talon still getting trained up. They have not really found their full stride as of yet. Those Raiders with that medium armor able to absorb much of that damage. And now those Raiders are backing up again. All right, I believe we are at two mining bases. One, two mining bases going up against two mining bases here. But the starting location... Uh, the second starting location for Soen, having about two and a half minutes of mining left. Why right? not using Demon Form? Getting Alt he instead, insta cancelled. Mm. All right, Treants will gonna clear their way again. And Demon Hunter sitting at level six, perhaps forcing a fight with Metamorphosis in that frontline spot. That could work out well. That Demon Hunter, 1100 hit points. 600 mana could get off plenty of mana burns and also that metamorphosis um well ranged chaos to poison poison damage keeper of the grove also has an uh, has the orb of venom right now so i take it back demon hunter well are we nope going for a second circuit of nobility the demon hunter having plus 17 to agility and intelligence that is going to be some major damage up to 660 mana now what item was transferred back over um claws of attack plus eight perhaps not quite sure as the demon or perhaps the um perhaps the keeper of the grove needed a little bit more mana as well both sides getting ready to engage no well no fairy f or no cyclone to try and force a fight there as chimeras are now well dropping out of the sky to try and burn things down all right there goes uh well a uh, a troll bat rider trying to take things out not going to work out here o3 armor upgrades for the chimeras so the troll bat rider is not really that effective great halls is going to get bombarded by siege damage and perhaps get taken down all right judah the claw joining in on the fight here raiders trying to make their way back across tree ends and well going after some of those peons here as both sides dancing back and forth kodo is getting lift up into the air as the blade master being forced to retreat back out chimeras will look to finish off this great Hall here, Druids of the Talon still reaching in the back here as the Blade Master able to fight across in the front line spot. Goblin Tinker getting taken down. There's another quick ensnare scroll of town portal um, to try to save, but the expansion is lost. Lali at losing that expansion and no, excuse me, Soen losing that expansion, and now Soen also going to lose his uh, his well second starting location. He's not going to be mining any gold after all of the hit and run tactics, but that we've seen with those raiders dealing that siege damage. It is Lali at the one who stops mining from his opponent first. Blade Master quickly getting retrained here, now going for Blade Storm. And with mirror image, so no more wind walk. Gonna go level three critical strike, level three mirror image, and that will be a way to well try and shut down entangle and also make it difficult to know what which blade master is in fact the right one. All right. I'm going to dive on in here in just a moment. Clarity Potion on that Shadow Hunter also has a potion of mana. That's going to be incredibly important for another round of healing. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter sitting at level 7 already as we are looking at the Goblin Tinker getting resurrected. All right, all, all the major creep camps have been cleared out. We're, we're going to be looking at a battle. Blade Master going to try and engage. Serpent Wards are down. And no easy target to mana burn since the Blade Master, well, has made multiple copies of himself. All right, there is, well, Chimera is trying to focus down a, a, a Druid of the Claw. Druid of the Claw going to easily, no, Kodobi is going to get taken down there um, as 
I, I believe Drew the Claw was in the belly. Coming back around, Chimera still firing those uh, shots. 76 supply compared to 50. And a Lalayette going to inch out in this battle here with the superior size army and superior um, economy. Goblin Tinker coming back across here as well. Blade Master not able to shut things down. Chimera's continuing to, or Shadow Hunter trying to f uh, finish things off. Demon Hunter, well, sitting at level 7. And yeah, Lalayette just inching out in the end using that hero level advantage and uh, using chimeras as an effective well siege damage source to shut down expos not something i expected to see at this level of play beautiful game there a lot of creeping a lot of high level heroes and um, we saw metamorphosis once i believe but really the tranquility was constantly shut down and Sowin didn't even bother to try and use Big Bad Voodoo, knowing that the Keeper of the Groves and Tangle would have made short work of that as well. Let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments below.